Kalanthua walked into the backstage area. She had read all of the five authors that surrounded her. She still didn't understand what her role was or why she was there. The authors had formed a semicircle around Monique. They all looked confused or annoyed. Oh, thank the goddess. Cal is here. We might actually pull this off. Monique's shoulders relaxed and she looked like the world was lifted from her shoulders. Apparently, Kala was not Atlas. Let's first go back to the beginning of this social experiment, experiment as it was explained to me. She asked her friend and hoped she could make sense of it. We all received invitations with the airfare, full expenses paid, and an extra $3,000. To come give a speech here at the French Lake Resort in beautiful Indiana. According to guidelines, we have met two hours early to bang out a game plan. That's where you come in handy, Kala. You are the one who brings coordination to the chaos. Each of these authors have very different genres. She indicated the people beside her with a palm up arm sweep. Like she was showing her the new car she was winning. You said before she showed up that we have to give a speech. That was not in the invitation. Just to show up for the author seminar, Tommy asked. In my notes, this professor said you were to study up on their career. And we have to emcee this event that we didn't know we were starring in. Monique handed Kala the paper with the instructions. She quickly read through it. Okay, everyone. Think of something you can give a 25-minute talk on and if you have pictures that can go with it, send them to send them from your device to Monique. She explained as she looked around the people around her. Looked around at all the people around her. They talked and conferred and pulled base outlines together because 3,000 to pull off a meme from the internet would be one hell of a story to tell. It was time to get the show started. Kyla walked to the stage to see people from all walks of life in the crowd. Suits and ties, t-shirts and jeans, and bright, colorful, ethnic outfits from many cultures. The doors were shut and the lights dropped just to the stage lighting up. Kala walked to the podium and took a deep breath. Welcome to Authors Browser History. Tonight we will share about different aspects of storytelling and different ways to tell stories. Our first speaker, speaker is a doctor of Japanese history and is an Armenian American. She will teach us about culture and what it means in real life and in storytelling. A lovely Armenian woman with blue hair, Lee Avagain, walked to the stage to a thumping Japanese power ballad played on Japanese instruments. She talked about how culture is important to the story, how her culture as an Armenian, as well as the genocide of her people, have colored her world and view of life. She explained how being trans and living as a woman has made her life feel more like the person she should be. She has a love for Japanese history and culture and received a doctorate in Japanese history. Her love of Japanese history and culture can be seen in her work, religion, and everyday life. They gave a thunderous standing ovation as Kala walked up to the podium to take her place. Thank you, Dr. Avagain. It is a Armenian word name that I don't really know, so if I have butchered it, please forgive me for teaching us how the how culture is woven in everything in our lives. Thank you for giving us glimpses of the beauty of becoming our true selves and you being you. Please check out her webpage and read her books and articles. Our next guest will enlighten us on how audio storytelling can grip us in fascination today as it has in the past. Please welcome Tommy Shrevener to the stage. Please, they applauded as he came to the stage and Kala left. Tommy walked up to the podium 
to the beat of the rocking music they picked out for his entrance. He started out his speech with what he believes should be right, the right reason to create. Every piece of content that is published should be something that you as a creator should be happy and proud of. He explained how audio dramas have delighted people for decades. Writing scripts for audio dramas differs from writing short stories and novels. How sound can entice the mind as well as shock and frighten. He finished with a, his speech with a clip of, a, of three minutes that took 32 hours to make. It told a story concisely and beautifully. The crowd gave, gave another standing ovation of thunderous applause. Thank you, Mr. Shriver, for teaching us about audio storytelling. Please go listen to his stories on Spotify and wherever else you find podcasts. I love his printed works as well. Our next speaker has many ongoing stories with so much lore built in. Please welcome Dave and Holt. The audience applauded again as he came to the stage and called a laugh. Dafin Holt, a trans man dressed to the nines in, in purple with steampunk glasses, walked out to a sea shanty. He told us of world building, world, world building, that word is hard today, and why it's important to the story. The laws of nature and magic that govern land and waste the reader doesn't always see. The difference between household, cultural politics, and government politics, how both govern entire lives and lands, social interactions from birth to death, and how entire worlds can be made better by admitting personal truths to oneself. Thank you, dear sir, for teaching us how to start thinking how worlds are made. Learning about transhumaning from two very different trans people is magnificent. There is so much more to learn in his book. Please go check out all of his works on the website. Our next guest is Dr. Slasher. He is known for his stories and teaching the many ways of telling stories as we have in the past around Catfire. The audience applauded as he came on to the stage and Kala left. Dr. Slasher walked out in a dark blue suit that made him look like a wise old owl to one of his favorite songs by the band he was in when he was younger. He began how explaining he began explaining how stories were originally told around friends and family circles. These stories conveyed information, teaching, or entertainment. How there were many ways to tell stories by words, audio dramas, as Mr. Schriever has explained with his wonderful speech. There are silent films and episodes of newer media that have conveyed stories through visual storytelling. How Monster and Lamageddon can give dumb fun in storytelling. The world needs storytelling and storytellers and sitting with friends talking about experiences and made up stories to the to relax kickstart creativity and to find the meaning of life everyone stood and the applause was just as slender as before thank you all for learning with me about storytelling he has stories everywhere on youtube and in print please go check them out our last speaker will teach us about how important our story is to tell. The audience applauded as she came to the stage and Kala left. The last speaker walked out to the podium in her black dress, back glasses, chain, and elf ears to the instrumental music that felt like fairies flying in the forest. Serene Rose showed the poetry of the soul is just as important as the fictional stories. Our stories show who we are and how we got where we are. We can find a path by finding others who have had experiences like ours because many feel alone and unwanted as we have. We can help each other find strength and carry on by having the courage to tell our story. Our story can give courage that can 
lead to healing and building a life that can make them happy. Serene received a standing ovation. Kala and the other authors came back out on stage. Kala traded places with her and gave a closing speech. She thanked them all for joining them. And learning with her from the wonderful authors gathered with her today, they all bowed and went backstage to find the professor waiting for them. Thank you for your part in the study. You will each be sent the full report when it's finished. He walked away. They all just stood staring. 